So before we get up into our flips again, okay. uh, we're going to go over some basics on how to punt, how to move our bodies in, uh, in stunt choreo, and oh, and then we're going to get our neck warmed up. Sell the reactions with your neck. Okay. So most people do martial arts and they grow up with martial arts. Then they'll compete in martial arts and then they'll kind of transition into stunts. You, you got to be like, have some, a base level of skill. Right, so you know how to punch, you know how to fall down, you have like a high tolerance for risk, <laughs> which is really the main thing. Yeah. Right, because as long as you're open to learning and you have a high tolerance for risk, you can learn anything, you know? Yeah, and then to get into the union is a pain in the butt, right? You can either get tafted, right? Someone needs you for a movie, oh, the, your look is perfect, you're gonna match this guy, we'll taft you, right? So now you're eligible to get your SAG membership. Okay. Or you can work a bunch of extra work, right? So background in movies and film and all that. I'm most often getting shot in the head, getting shot in the back, <laughs> getting punched, you know, falling down. I've only done like two gigs where I've actually been like doing a, a stunt fight, right? Which was amazing, right? I love those opportunities. When you're doing those, yeah, people think that you're just doing it once and then it's over. No, you're doing multiple takes. Multiple, multiple takes of getting your, your butt kicked. <laughs> okay, so first thing, go to push a position. And we're gonna get our knuckles into the floor. And this is gonna really teach you that, that alignment of your wrist. So, so now, angle onto just your pointer and middle finger knuckles. That's it. Feel that? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, so more on your pointer. All right, so bend your knees a little bit. Get your hands up like this. So basically, right, we wanna have like a boxing stance. So arms are gonna be as tight as they can be, right, as, as far as your biceps allow. And now first thing we're just gonna go is turn. Yep. And now look at my, the ball of my foot right there. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so everything that we do up top comes from the ground. Okay. All right, if I punch like this, it doesn't look powerful. But if I go, it looks way more powerful. Okay, so actually, let's not even do hands. Let's make a table. Good, and turn as far as you can this way. And bring it back. Now, same thing, we're gonna turn on the right foot. Yes, right there. Now, come back to the middle. Posture, right? When you fight, you don't wanna be here. You wanna be kind of like hunched forward, right? Like a, a he, think of a henchman, right? You watch any movie, yeah, they're henchmen, man. You gotta be down like this. Okay, so anyway, hands like this. Round out your back a little bit, good. And now turn as far as you can, good. And now, so look at me, you're here. Try to be here. Yeah, so bring your chest back. Yep, put your hip forward, round this out. Almost like try to escape, don't let me touch your stomach. Yep, keep around, keep tucking it in right there. That looks better. So this is gonna take some like at home work in the mirror. Okay. We're just gonna turn sideways and figure out how to shape your body into this fighting position. Okay. Right. Okay, so here we go. First thing, let's get our right foot back. So we're here. This is gonna be our fighting stance. So uh, face me, I'm mirroring you. Oh, okay. So pretend like you're looking at So right mirror. foot back? Yep. All right, so first punch is jab. Good, now bring it back. So now watch my front foot. Shh. Go. Oh. Nice. Yep. Roll. There you go. And now try not to lean too much. We're just gonna twist in place. Boom. Yes, think of anything you do up here. It comes from, again, from the ground. Turn the foot, the hips turn, and that boom, launches the punch in. Bang. Nice, one more. Boom. Now aim straight for here. Good. Yeah, you don't have to touch it, aim for it. Boom. Should be all the way sideways. Yep, sideways. And go. That's the jab. Now to make your jab look powerful, there's gonna be some footwork, right? Because this doesn't look that strong. But if I move in, right? And notice if I'm moving in, boom, everything moves at once. Punch straight, go. Yeah, better. One more. Boom, nice. Now hold your position one more time. So go out, boom, okay. hit it. Yes, now hold this. Try to twist as much as you can. Keep this hand a little bit. Oh, imagine like it almost like being right here against your jawline. Good. And then knuckles. Bang. Now that is look good. One more thing. Re re keep this. Just move this foot a little out here, a little wider. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have better balance that way. Good. All right. And bring it back. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Shake it out. So when I punch you here, straight in the face, you're going to go. It's almost like you're getting chin tuck and then you snap your head back, all right? Can snap it back, but that's kind of dangerous. Okay. So you want the chin tuck, because that kind of, it makes it look like your face is getting pushed backwards, and then it protects your neck because you're activating your muscles so you don't hurt Okay. Anything. Get ready for it, and snap it. 
Good. All right, how are you feeling so far? Good. So now let's let's do one a little a little faster. So snap, hoo, and then bring it back to normal. One, two, three. <laughs> Good. Keep your hands up so they look like you're in the fight. Ready? Nice. Actually, so I'm gonna kick you. You're gonna go boom. Just block my kick with two hands. Go. Boom. And then I'm gonna go bah. <laughs> look like a little bobble. <laughs> right? That's half a stunts, my guy. It's just moving your head all wild. Ready? Turn and go. It's all about seeing you and then seeing my head react. Right? Go ahead. So, yeah, all the way over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that way, I'm not gonna get punched in the face, but it'll look like it, okay? okay. So aim for right there. Okay. Ready? Go. Good. Go again. Good. One more time, go. Next up, hook punch. Uh, get to a, like a horse stance right here. Hands up. Bring your hand up like this, like you're holding a coffee cup. So, left hand up. Coffee cup presented. Oh. There it is. And then just turn your body all the way. That's it, that's it. So notice, we're not doing this, because that looks silly, right? Look like Dracula's. <laughs> all right, so you want to turn with the oh. whole body right okay. there. Go for it. Oh. Da, 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 da. Nice, now notice we don't want to be here, because you're sticking your butt out. Okay. Stay stacked, shoulders over hips. Ready? You're dumping your coffee out. Uh, bang, that's better, good. Now bring your hand a little bit further out, yeah? Do, 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 do. Go. Bang. Now, yep. Careful to lean. Okay. Here. So stay there. Bring your shoulders back. That's it. Tuck your chin. Round out your back a little bit. Keep this arm right there. Twist your shoulders. Boom. Right there. Keep your hand out right there. So head down a little bit. Look at your hand. That looks better. Good. Okay. Go back. And you remember all that? <laughs> yeah. Better. Yes. All right. So now you're going to have to cross all the way across my face to there. All right, again, plenty of air. You just fool in the, fool in the oh. camera. Might have to reach a little further. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. Think about it, you, you just have to make your fist go from here all the way to there, okay? As long as it crosses where my face is, I can react to it and it looks real for them. Okay. I you think. come back as quickly as you did with the, like with the arm? Um, always, with always. The jab. Okay. Yeah, unless it's like a finisher, then you'd be like boom, and then look hard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you're in the middle of like a whole sequence, you want to boom, bounce, and get back into the next thing. Okay. All right, go again. Oh. Yeah, one more. Coffee cup. So, wanted to talk with Sunny and get a female's perspective on stunt work. I've been going for about two and a half, uh, three years I've been in the union, so I'm still relatively new and uh, picking up speed. I got started, um, I did uh, a live stunt show and then decided that I wanted to transition into TV and film. What, what do you say are some of the challenges of not just stunt work, um, but even from like the differences, I guess, or challenges of being a female in stunt work as well? Uh, yeah, definitely. So, um, I, it is, there, there's a lot of similarities. We all have to kind of train the same things. We have to train wrecks. We have to be able to take hard hits. We have to be able to fight well and all that. But um, there are also nuances that are a little bit different. Um, for instance, with like wardrobe, it's less likely that a female stunt performer will be able to hide padding uh, underneath her wardrobe, either because it's tight or because it's showing a lot of skin. So we have to be able and willing to take falls without pads on us or with very low profile pads on us. Whereas uh, dudes might be able to wear suits or that sort of thing and they can wear heavier, higher profile pads. The way, um, kind of what kinds of jobs the uh, female stunt performers will go out for are a little bit different from what uh, male stunt performers go out for. So male stunt performers are more likely to be um, kind of nondescript characters, like goons is what we call them. Whereas, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, whereas- uh, Thug female, number one. <laughs> like yeah, in exactly. the row. Thug number Thug one. Thug number two. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, whereas female stunt performers, um, generally because we're, we're smaller and um, society, uh, we don't tend to be thugs and goons. Um, so it's more often that a, a woman stunt performer will end up uh, doubling earlier on. And so then we're doubling, uh, we'll start by doubling like day players and that sort of thing. So uh, which uh, guys tend to have to wait longer in order to get into doubling. Um, doubling, when you say double, you mean like body double for? Stunt doubling. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
fighting, falling, et cetera, for, uh, for an actress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Favorite part of, um, like, what's your favorite part of doing stunt work and what has been, like, your favorite project, per se, that you've worked on so far? Okay. Um, that's a good question. Uh, it's hard. Um, I think my favorite part of stunt work uh, has to be kind of the teamwork aspect of it. Um, it really is you know, you really are working with your brothers and sisters on everything um, because you're taking care of each other because you're doing a lot of dangerous things. And I really love the collaborative aspect of stunts. And also we're very much utility. We're all about solving problems and uh, being that extra piece that kind of puts the whole picture together. Uh, so that's one of the things I really like about doing stunts on set and everything. Uh, I really like uh, specializing in uh, rigging and that sort of thing, so like wire work, um, and not only per as a flyer on sets and that sort of thing, but also as a rigger, um, working to set up rigs, climbing to set up rigs, uh, keeping uh, the stunt performer safe as they do these superhuman things. So I'd say that's kind of my favorite area to work in. All right, so we'll just uh, we're going to transition into some wrecks, okay? So okay. we'll go up there, do a few flips, learn how to fall, and then uh, and then we'll see if we can make a whole sequence. Awesome, great job so far. Thanks. This. We're gonna have Joe be the hero, where he uppercuts me in the jaw, I react, I'm gonna do a backflip, and then land in the foam pit and die. Trust fall. So you're just gonna stand and then keep your body straight. That's the hard part. Is not bending at the hip. Just try to stay straight. And... Ah, almost, almost. You had a little break in your form there. <laughs> All right. You count off. One, two, three. Yo, you good? Oh, good man, good. That was a good heavy action. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Uh, a little more of that. Yeah. Right? Yep. Go. Good. Remember, you don't have to come close to me. Nice. You just have to cross the line. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. Ready? Go. One, two, three. 